loud and I appreciate it. And I'm going to stand back here and keep my mouth shut until you say go. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, see, that's what I mean. Ten years ago, um, the National State Teachers of the Year organization decided to... It was 10 years ago. I remember, I can remember it clearly because you had just turned 30 and I had just turned 35. And <laughs> you worked hard. <laughs> well, you look good. I looked like I was broke pretty hard the last 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, what, we, what they bestowed in, uh, to Dolly was a Chas Chasing Rainbows Award, which really stood for somebody who's overcome a lot of obstacles in their life to inspire uh, kids everywhere. And ever since then, uh, Dolly and the foundation have teamed up with Instoy to present uh, an award to a teacher who has done the same. And so this year, the 10th anniversary, is a wonderful lady who, believe it or not, this process did not know what was happening with our visually impaired partnership with the American Printing House for the Blind. And they chose a teacher uh, named Marge West, who is from Colorado. And she overcame her own visual problems at a time when it was starting to uh, become difficult for her. She thought she may even lose her position as a first grade teacher. But she overcame that and continued to inspire hundreds, if not thousands, of, of little boys and girls and allowed them to pursue their own dream. And you know, they often say that there are people who may not see well, but have crystal clear vision. And she is that person. So, ladies and gentlemen, the 2011 Chasing Rainbows winner, Marge West.
trailblazer for other visually impaired teachers who wish to teach in the regular education classrooms. Um, I've learned through the years that happiness is a choice. And, <clears throat> well, I don't know if it's because of my genetic makeup or the fact that my parents were very good role models, but I've always been a glass half full type of person and been mostly positive and optimistic, allowing myself only an occasional pity party. <laughs> <laughs> About 15 years ago, uh, we were having a professional development day up in Vail, Colorado, and I guess that was back in the days when we could afford to have an in-service day. <laughs> uh, I'm from Jefferson County Schools, the largest school district in, in Colorado, and uh, this year, and for the next three years, we're facing $40 million in budget cuts in each of those three years. So it's a pretty bleak picture for students and teachers in my school district. But at any rate, there was this motivational speaker. Um, he was speaking on the subject of humor in the classroom and in the workplace, which is vitally important, as probably most of you know. Uh, but I remember him offering a philosophy of life that has sort of stuck with me. In fact, I have it posted on my bulletin board. Maybe you've heard it, um, because I think I heard some of the words in a country western song just the other day. So, um, But it goes like this. Work like you don't need the money. Love like you've never been hurt. And dance like nobody's watching. And that is so... satisfaction and contentment. Love unconditionally, which is sometimes difficult, but something we can strive for. And celebrate life. Have some fun and enjoy yourself while in the short journey we have. So, um, dance like nobody's watching. Uh, you elementary teachers in the audience, and perhaps the rest of you will remember from your school days, the little song uh, and finger play, The Incy Weensy Spider. I know it takes great courage to sing in front of Dolly Parton when you're not a student. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but my first graders didn't know that I couldn't sing. So we, we used to do this little ditty uh, in between activities, stretch breaks and that kind of thing. And I'm going to sing it for you today. Dolly can help me. You people in the you know it can help me. And I'll need my hands free.
to present you with this award. So, it is heavy. I'm going to hand it to you and let you worry about that. <laughs> it is heavy, but isn't that beautiful? Now, we're going to take a